Hi. Uh, today we are going to discuss uh, solution of the differential equation which are reducible to linear form. Uh, in the last video we have already discussed about the linear uh, first order first degree differential equation and its solution and it's a continuation of that. You can see more videos on this topic differential equations uh, that is for various universities and various courses. Uh, that you can see through my uh, channel's playlist uh, for that. You want to subscribe my channel and please enable the bell button to get the notifications at earliest. Okay, we are moving to the topic equations reducible to linear form. In this section, we are discussing about Bernoulli's differential equation. Bernoulli's differential equation. Discussing about Bernoulli's differential equation. Okay, the equation of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q y raised to n is called a Bernoulli's differential equation where p and q are functions of x only or constants as uh, similar to the form and linear differential equation but we have a y raised to n over here uh, we can still reduce this equation into linear differential equation first order first degree linear differential equation uh, this type of equations dy by dx plus py equal to q into y raised to n is called Bernoulli's differential equation and now we can reduce this into linear by dividing with y raised to n throughout the equation by dividing by y raised to n we can have 1 by y raised to n dy by dx plus p by y raised to n minus 1 in fact because here there is a y and y by y raised to n is y raised to n minus 1. Now it is equal to q. Now this is equal to y raised to minus n dy by dx plus p into y raised to 1 minus n. Uh, it takes to the numerator then it will be negative. Negative of n minus 1 is 1 minus n which is equal to q. Uh, now we will substitute z is equal to y raised to 1 minus n. Now find its derivative dz by dx is equal to 1 minus n into y raised to 1 minus n minus 1 into dy by dx you will get. Okay. Now it is equal to dz by dx is equal to 1 minus n into y raised to minus n dy by dx. Now we can replace this y raised to n dy by dx by 1 by 1 minus n into dz by dx. From this we can reduce the equation into a linear form. Now uh, we will take this equation as 1. Okay, We will substitute all these things in equation number 1. If you take this as equation number 1 then you will get uh, uh, instead of y raised to n y raised to minus n dy by dx we can write 1 by 1 minus n into dz by dx plus p into this is z which is equal to q okay now we can multiply with 1 minus n throughout the equation we will get dz by dx plus uh, 1 minus n pz equal to 1 minus n q. Now it is a linear differential equation in y uh, sorry uh, in z here the dependent variable is z and independent variable is x where p is uh, we can consider p as 1 minus n into p and q as 1 minus n into q. Okay. Now we have a question solve the differential equation dy by dx plus x by 1 minus x square y is equal to x into y raised to 1 by 2. Now it is of the form dy by dx plus py equal to q into y raised to n. Okay. Now we will divide this equation. 
we will divide this equation throughout by y raised to n that is we will divide it by root y okay now it is equal to dividing by y raised to 1 by 2 we will get y raised to minus 1 by 2 dy y dx plus uh, x by 1 minus x square y raised to 1 by 2 okay it will be y by y raised to 1 by 2 before we will get y raised to 1 by 2 in the numerator now it is equal to x now we can make a substitution we will take z equal to this one y raised to 1 by 2 now what is dz by dx dz by dx is half into y raised to 1 by 2 minus 1 into dy by dx we can take this half to the side therefore it is 2 into dz by dx is equal to y raised to minus 1 by 2 dy by dx now we can substitute all these things in this equation therefore we will get 2 into dz by dx plus x by 1 minus x square instead of y raised to 1 by 2 you are substituting z which is equal to x now we will divide with the 2 therefore we have dz by dx plus x by 2 into 1 minus x square z is equal to x by 2. Now it's, it becomes a linear differential equation of the form dz by dx plus dz equal to q where the dependent variable is z not y it is z and the independent variable is x and p and q are functions of x only. Therefore we can select p is equal to x by 2 into 1 minus x square and q is x by 2. Okay, now we will find its solution as integrating factor is integral e raised to integral p dx. Now it is equal to e raised to integral. Here p is x by x by 2 into 1 minus x square dx. Uh, to make this denominator uh, numerator as the derivative of denominator we will multiply the numerator and denominator by minus 2 because 1 minus x square is there in the denominator and its derivative is minus 2x. We need to get minus 2x over here to make a substitution. Therefore, we will divide this numerator and denominator or we will multiply this numerator and denominator with minus 2. Therefore, we will get a minus 4 in the denominator e raised to minus 1 by 4 integral minus 2x by 1 minus x square dx. Now it is of the form integral uh, f dash of x by f of x dx. Therefore we can write it as e raised to minus 1 by 4 into log 1 minus x square. Okay. Now we will take this minus 1 by 4 as a power of 1 minus x square. Therefore the integrating factor becomes e and log n. Uh, e and log will cancel off and we will get the integrating factor as 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4. This is our integrating factor. Now we can write its solution. Solution is y uh, instead of y we are using z over here because the variable is z. z into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus c. Now z into integrating factor is 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 is equal to integral q. What is q here? x by 2 into 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 dx plus constant of integration c. Again we can make a substitution over here but to make uh, 1 minus x squares derivative over here uh, we need to get uh, the derivative of 1 minus x square here therefore we will multiply with uh, minus 2 in the numerator and denominator therefore we will get uh, this is equal to uh, minus 2x by we will get minus 4, minus 4 I will take minus 4 outside minus 1 by 4 integral uh, 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 dx plus c now this is of the form integral f dash of x into f of x dx okay uh, f, do, f of x all raised to minus 1 by 4 the 4 uh, it is of the form like this f dash of x into f of x all raised to n dx and its answer is f of f of x all raised to n plus 1 by n plus 1 okay now this is equal to minus 1 by 4 into uh, here f of x is 1 minus x square isn't it 
therefore it is equal to 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 plus 1 divided by minus 1 by 4 plus 1 plus constant of integration c. Okay, now we can simplify this. Uh, we will have z into 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 which is equal to minus 1 by 4 into 1 minus x square all raised to 3 by 4 divided by 3 by 4 plus constant of integration c. Now we can cancel this to 4's and it is z into 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 which is equal to minus 1 minus x square all raised to 3 by 4 by 3 plus c. Now we can replace z. What is z? z is y raised to 1 by 2. Therefore root y into 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4 is equal to minus 1 minus x square all raised to 3 by 4 by 3 plus c. If you want to uh, simplify this again, we can divide this equation throughout by 1 minus x square all raised to minus 1 by 4. Then it becomes root y is equal to minus 1 minus x square. Uh, dividing with uh, minus 1 by 4, it becomes... Uh, 1 minus x square all raised to 1 divided by 3 plus c into 1 minus x square all raised to 1 by 4. This will be your final answer. Okay. Okay, the next question is solve dy by dx plus x sine to y equal to x cube cos square y. Now, to reduce this into linear form, we will divide this equation with the cos square x. Throughout the equation we are dividing with dividing by cos square y. You will get uh, 1 by cos square here. The, it will be cx square y cx square y dy by dx plus x into sin 2y by cos square y which is equal to x cube. Okay, now in order to simplify this, we can write uh, six square y into dy by dx uh, uh, plus x into, we can use an identity sine 2y. What is sine 2y? You know that sine 2y is sine y into cos y divided by cos square y, which is equal to x cube. Now simplifying this, we'll get uh, six square y dy by dx plus 2 x into tan y, isn't it? Sin y by cos y, which is equal to x cube. Okay, now we will substitute this expression tan y. Tan y is equal to z, we will take t, uh, z equal to tan y. Uh, why we are taking z equal to tan y? Why we are substituting for tan y? Because its derivative is 6 square y, isn't it? Now, this is a differential equation, we can see a general form for that. f dash of y into dy by dx plus p into f of y equal to q. If the equation is of this form, we can substitute for the uh, function f of y because its derivative f dash of y is over here. Okay, uh, so that I will substitute z equal to tan y. Now what is the derivative? dz by dx is equal to the derivative of tan y is c square y into dy by dx. Now we replace these two. Uh, z uh, tan y and z square y dy by dx uh, with the z and dz by dx. Therefore, our equation becomes um, dz by dx plus 2 into x into z. That is, we can write as 2z, 2xz, which is equal to x cube. Okay, now it is of this form dz by dx plus pz equal to q where p is 2x and q is x cube. Now find its integrating factor. Integrating factor is e raised to integral p dx. e raised to integral p dx that is equal to e raised to integral 2x dx which is e raised to 2 into x square by 2. Cancelling this we get e raised to x square as integrating factor. Now we will write its solution. Its solution is z into integrating factor is equal to integral q into integrating factor dx plus constant of integration c. Now z into e raised to x square is equal to integral what is q? 
it is x cube, isn't it? x cube into integrating factor is 0 is to x square dx plus c. Okay, now we want to integrate this. Uh, for integrating this, we will rearrange this into um, x into x square. We can write, we can split x cube as x into x square e raised to x square dx. Now we will make a substitution x square equal to t. We will take t equal to x square. Then its derivative dt is 2x dx. We have x and dx over here. We will take 2 to the side. D, 1 by 2 dt is equal to x dx. Now we will replace these things in the integral. Therefore we will get the answer or we will get the integral like this. Z into e raised to x square which is equal to integral uh, x square as t. t e raised to t into x dx as dt by 2 plus constant of integration. See now it is 1 by 2 into integral t e raised to t dt. Now we will integrate this using integration by parts or integration chain rule. Um, you get an answer like this. This is equal to 1 by 2 into first function t. First function t into integral of e raised to t. e raised to t minus derivative of t is 1 into integral of e raised to t, e raised to t plus derivative of 1 is 0. Therefore, we, we can stop all there and the answer will be like this. Now, it is z into e raised to x square which is equal to half into, we can take e raised to t outside, e raised to t into t minus 1 plus c. Now, we will replace t first. What is t? t is x square. Therefore, this is uh, equal to 1 by 2 into e raised to x square into x square minus 1 plus c. Now this is the answer but we can substitute, resubstitute the value of z. What is z? z is, uh, I think it is tan y, isn't it? Therefore this is tan y e raised to x square is equal to 1 by 2 into e raised to x square into x square minus 1 plus c. This is the final answer. If you want to simplify again, we can divide throughout the equation by e raised to x square. Then we will get answer like this. Tan y is equal to uh, x square minus 1 by 2 plus c e raised to minus x square. Okay. If you are dividing with the e raised to x square throughout the equation, you can get the final answer like this. Okay, today we discussed uh, Bernoulli's differential equation and it is the fourth part of the topic differential equation that we are uh, doing through our channel for various universities and uh, various courses. For more videos like this, please subscribe our channel and share to your friends. Please comment your uh, feedbacks. Thank you.